everyone, I'm Jack Cadelinia, Worship Pastor of Malayan Filipino Music. Thank you all for joining me today. And for some of you na ngayon lang po nag-tune in, I hope this is not your last. So for the past week, we have been talking about our singing voices. And with that, nandyan po yung nagbigay ako ng tips sa inyo. At last week, we have talked about our vocal ranges, kung paano po natin to makukuha or paano natin malalaman ang ating vocal range. Today, um, para po siyang naging vocal series na because I'll be talking about how to breathe properly when singing. Okay, so I'm sure maraming beses na kayong nakapakinig or yung mga uh, worship pastors natin or yung mga leaders natin would say na we should breathe properly. So, bakit nga ba tayo laging sinasabihan that we should breathe properly? At paano ba ito? So, yan po yung pag-uusapan natin ngayong araw. So, we have a special guest that will be joining me today para po ma ma mas makita natin kung ano ba yung mga techniques na magandang gawin para po tayo ay makaawit ng tama sa pamamagitan ng tamang breathing. Okay? So, let's welcome my daughter, Karen! Hello! <laughs> Hello, Anna! Hello, thank you for tuning in today. And we, I hope that you guys like and subscribe to my mom's channel. Yeah. And that you enjoy this video. Yeah, okay. So, firstly, pag-usapan natin, anak, bakit nga ba importante? Or bakit laging sinasabi na we should breathe properly? Well, if you breathe properly, you'll get to sustain your notes, your voice won't be shaky, mm -hmm. and you won't damage your vocal cords. Yeah, that's right. Because uh, we have to understand that if we don't breathe, we won't be able to bring out any tune. Tama? Subukan nga kaya natin na ubusin mo lahat yung hangin ng, ng chan mo, tapos ng... ng Diaphragm. Yeah, subukan kaya natin na uh, papanong mangyayari sa atin kapag inubos natin lahat yung hangin natin sa diaphragm natin. Tapos doon tayo kakanta. Try it, kaya. Uh... <laughs> Actually, imposible po talaga. Even when we talk, when we speak, merong hangin tayong pinuproduce, eh, di ba? Kasi we cannot produce anything pag walang hangin. We cannot speak properly. Actually, may mga uh, kakilala po ako before na talaga yung mga pastors after preaching na mamao sila. Kasi hindi lang sa pag-awit ang benefit ng magandang or tamang paghinga, kundi sa pagsasalita. ba diba? Hindi kasi natin na-strain yung vocal cords natin. So, bakit ba importante na tayo ay matuto ng tamang paghinga sa pananalita, if you are a speaker, at sa pag-awit, if you are a singer. Kasi, number one, uh, the air that we breathe in is the one supporting the voice. Yung siya ang nagsusupport ng nilalabas natin na pananalita or pag-awit. Diba? Uh, we have to have a full control of our air to produce a good quality of our singing voice. Control air to control voice. And the air is the one sustaining our notes from beginning to end. Di ba ngayon, pag nasustain natin yung, uh, yung notes natin, masusustain natin ang ating notes if we have enough air that's coming out from our diaphragm. So let's discuss shortly, parang briefly lang, bakit anong importansya ng pag-breathe properly sa diaphragm. Diaphragm is our breathing muscle. Kaya importante siya. Alright? So, our diaphragm is the one holding. Supporting the lungs. Supporting our lungs to hold the air that we breathe in mm -hmm. and the, the air that we breathe out. Alright? So, when we inhale, nag, napupunta yung hangin sa lungs natin and our diaphragm, the breathing muscle, Support. is bringing it down mm -hmm. para magkaroon ng hangin at siya yung nag-hold. Mm -hmm. Pag nilalabas, pag mag-exhale na tayo, ilalabas na natin yung hangin, it's the diaphragm, our breathing muscle, 
siya yung nag-hold going up naman. Mm. Siya yung nagpo-push out ng hangin para magkaroon ng magandang quality ang ating bosses. Okay? So, yun yung importance. Kaya importante ang tamang paghinga. So, ngayon, na alam na natin kung ano, kung, kung bakit kailangan matuto tayo ng tamang paghinga at ano yung importance niya. So, ang tanong ngayon, paano yun gagawin? Sample. Number one tip. Okay? So, the first tip is, um, actually, you need a book, if ever. So, you lie down on the floor, and then you put the book on your stomach. So, you're lying down, and then you have to push, your diaphragm has to push the book okay. up dapat, and down. Yeah, dapat umaangat baba siya. So, pag naka-lie down ka, dapat yung tummy mo up and down. You inhale, pag inhale mo, dapat aangat yung book. Mm. Pag exhale mo, dapat bumababa siya slowly, right? Yes. Okay. Ngayon, since hindi tayo hihiga, <laughs> you will, ano, Tada! Here's the book. Okay, leadership handbook pa yan. Okay. So there, sample. So this is how you're going to do it. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale. There, napansin nyo. Inhale. There, it's going. You hold it when you inhale. You hold the air for at least five seconds. And then you exhale. And then you watch the book go down. So that you um, exercise it and help it expand. All right, okay. So, ganon ha. You put the book here. Inhale. Exhale. Tapos, you have to hold it. Okay. The second exercise that we're going to do para po ma-strengthen or ma-practice, magamit natin actively ang ating diaphragm. Okay? Is, how do you do that, Karen? You have to put your hand on your chest and on your diaphragm, tummy. on your tummy. And then... You have to make sure na hindi po aket or baba yung yes. shoulders. Kasi that's, um, when you breathe like that, when you sing, yung, um, it's not going to the diaphragm. Like the diaphragm won't get to help the lungs um, push. push in and out the air. And so you have to watch your shoulders. And so when you do that, make sure that your shoulders don't go up. It's only your tummy that's, that's going um, up and down. Yeah, that's like, Expanding. Mm. Okay. So we have to put our hand on our chest and another hand on our tummy. And then you just inhale. make sure that you inhale and then you, you make sure that your shoulders don't go up and your chest doesn't go up. So, so that's inhale. it. Now, if, like Kunyare, you're doing it, tapos tumaas to, what are you going to do? Relax your shoulders. Yeah, and it's okay, ulit it. lang. <laughs> Oo, until makuha natin yung tamang technique. Mm. So again, you put your, your right hand on your chest and then your left on your tummy. You breathe in. Breathe in. There. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's that's the technique. Ma kung kung okay, okay then na magsimula po kayo na nakahiga. Katulad po nung sinabi ko doon sa previous video na na mention ko po ito and passing and passing lang. Na uh, yung baby pag nakikita niyo, 'di ba nakahiga sila. So mapapansin niyo na yung tummy nila is going up and down. So actually Nung baby, pa lang, nung baby pa lang tayo, we are breathing the right way. Mm. Pero, hindi natin maintindihan nung lumaki na tayo na iba na yung you technique natin. You become less conscious siguro. Yeah. So, that's, that's a key word, ha? We have to be conscious. 
in controlling our breathing muscle. Mm. And sabi ko nga po sa inyo, hindi lang po ito uh, effective sa pagkanta, effective din ito sa pagsasalita. Kung kunyari may presentation kayo or kailangan nyo mag-preach, hindi ba? Um, maganda na magamit natin yung diaphragm natin in um, storing in air para hindi na i-strain yung vocal cords natin. At maganda yung quality na lalabas sa mga bosses natin. I just want to add that it's easy to sing without using your diaphragm. But the question is, is it good? Mm-hmm. Like, is the quality good? Will your voice be better? Um, I think it's, it won't. It's easy, but it's not the best way to do it. Yeah, and you're, you're going to damage your vocal cords. That's the worst part. <laughs> yeah, tapos isa pa doon, every time, uh, yun din po yung source ng out of tune. And you, flat you don't, yeah, out of tune meaning flat sharps natin. Tapos, we don't get to sustain the right quality, mm. hindi ba, ng notes natin. So, napaka-importante talaga. Again, uh, diaphragm. So, ito, madal- lagi nating naririnig, ano? Diaphragm, you sing, you breathe from your diaphragm and all that. So, ano po yung diaphragm? It is the breathing muscle. Siya po ang tumutulong na mag-hold ng hangin na, na in-inhale natin at siya ang tumutulong mag-push ng hangin para i-exhale natin slowly. Again, we have to be conscious in controlling our, our diaphragm para dahan-dahan lumalabas yung hangin at nasusustain natin yung notes natin with the right quality. Okay? So, I hope that you have learned something today. Thank you, Karen, Thank for you, joining Mom, me. Thank you, for having me. <laughs> yes, and please don't forget to like, subscribe this channel, and of course, Malayang Filipino Music also. And si Karen din. <laughs> channel. And next week, Ito po, sana abangan ninyo, I'll be talking about um, yung transition naman from chest tone to head tone. Paano ginagawa yun? Okay, so thank you all. And we wish you a Merry Christmas. Enjoy Christmas your po. celebrations, everybody. Thank you and God bless you. You're also loved.